Good morning guys. I thought this video could be super chill, relaxed. I'm just gonna be using a bunch of new products or products that I've just shown to you guys within the last month because I wanna show you guys that I use these products more than once. I use them a handful of times. Even when I'm not filming, I really am enjoying these products. A lot of you wanna see different looks using this palette and I thought I could do that in this video, something super casual. So starting off with this lip balm. Milani Fruit Fetish. I don't know if I ever brought this up, but I recently discovered it in one of my little containers. Do you have these containers around your place where it's supposed to keep your area like nice? Like your, maybe it's your dresser, your vanity, just so you don't see a ton of clutter. Well, this was in one of them. And I was like, oh my gosh, I remember this. From what, last year? Maybe last summer? And I don't have that much left, but... I specifically like it for the scent. It's in Mango Coconut. After lip balm, I like to go in with an eyeshadow primer because I can forget this sometimes. I always talk about this one. It's the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. It has a bit of a tint to it, which is why I really like it because sometimes if I'm not even wearing any kind of eyeshadow, but I'm wearing maybe just mascara, I still like to wear a little bit of primer. And what I like about this is that it does have a slight tint to it compared to something that's completely white and you do have to put something over it and it just looks, you know, more noticeable. I'm looking forward to cooler weather. The one thing I am a little more upset about or just I'm going to miss is all of the plants and flowers. I've been working on my garden this past spring and all of summer and it's been a labor of love. I started working on it last year because I had to do all of the irrigation and the hardscaping first, and then we get into the fun stuff, the plants. So it's just been a very long project, and still it's in its early stages because plants, you have to wait until they grow and they become full. So now it's not at its full potential, but I do have to remind myself that it takes time and that's part of the process, which is a lot of fun too. Going in with, I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta foundation, but wait, I think I wanna pair it with a primer. I haven't used this one in a minute. Oops. It's the uh, e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I don't know, lately I haven't been using primers. I've been just using um, sunscreens as my primers. Going in with the foundation. I still think I'm a little too light for this still. It's gonna take some time. I've been getting back into TikTok, not as someone creating content, but just as a viewer. I'm still not the biggest fan of creating short form content, if I'm being honest. But I do enjoy watching it and kind of seeing where the trends are going and what people are just interested in. But there's this one person that I follow. And I started following her maybe over a year ago, maybe during the pandemic. So maybe it's two years, wow, okay. So maybe two years ago. She's an Asian American, I believe she's Korean. She's the person that I wanna be when I grow up. Mind you, I'm an adult already, so I should already be there by now. But just her self-awareness, her confidence, she knows her worth. And I love to see that, especially for women, because you don't see that enough. You don't see enough strong-minded women speaking up on topics that are important. Now, I will have her TikTok specifically linked down below because you guys should definitely check it out. If you are someone who cares about just racism, sexism, all of these things that are happening to all of us, whether it's happening to you directly or indirectly, it is happening. Um, I would definitely check out her content. She's a mom. She has, I believe, two biracial kids. It's just something so beautiful and I, and I almost just imagine myself being her in, I don't know, how many years from now? Maybe 10, 15? I, don't, I really don't know how old she is. But I just it gives me so much warmth when I see her because I'm just like, wow, you know? And she reminds me very much of my own mother, even though my mom is white, just her self-confidence and being able to stand up for others. It's just, it's very incredible to see. So I've been binging all of her content because I haven't really been on TikTok and I'm just so happy for her because I think she's around 1 million followers, which is incredible because when I first started watching her, I think she only had a few thousand, but she just really resonated with me since the very beginning. I would love to know what do you guys, 
or who do you guys like to watch on TikTok specifically? Like what kind of content do you like to see? I feel like I don't really see any dancing content anymore, but is that because TikTok knows that's not what I'm really vibing with these days? Maybe. I enjoy watching food content, but not enough to make it, even though I want to make it, but not enough to be like, okay, I'm going to go to the supermarket, buy it, and then make it. But I enjoy watching it, and I want to eat it. I just don't want to be the one to make it. Do I want to do concealer next? No, I think I want to wait on that because of the eye look that I'm creating. Let me show you guys what I want to create. I got some inspo from Pinterest, which is where I typically get my ideas from. So I really love this look right here. Super pretty. It's a wing, but it's like this brownishy orange kind of like a terracotta but there's a gradient so closer to the lash line it's a darker brown then it lightens and then on the lid in the inner corner it has like this beautiful sparkle to it super simple but at the same time it's different than your everyday wing look so that's what i'm going to try to create using the new palette from kathleen lights i feel like i can go a couple of different ways i can either stay in the same color family as them which I do have more or less or we can do this color that I haven't really experimented with and what would I pair that with maybe this one yeah let's do that let's be different let's be daring let's do something that I wouldn't do and let's go in with that but I think I'm gonna start with no yeah I am gonna start with that one and then I'll build it with the darker at the base okay I got it I figured it out I may need to add some setting powder if this isn't dark enough on its own actually it's pretty good so because i want this liner to stand out and i have mono lids i am going to be making it thicker than what she has and if this wing isn't sharp enough or thin enough we can always go back in which is why i didn't go in with the concealer yet trusting the process guys even if it's not even because we can fix it before i go any further i am going to curl my lashes I try to do this before I apply liner because what will happen is the liner will just get all over this and kind of just wasting product. It can sometimes get messy, so I try to do this before. We might as well use the liner that went with this. I think I'm gonna have to sharpen mine. I like the Ulta Beauty sharpener, the dual one. Ulta Beauty has some gems. I feel like we all over overlook it but it has some really good gems so i'm gonna tight line with this really dark brown it does have a bit of a shimmer to it and then what i'm also gonna do is i'm gonna smudge it the lash line in the inspo photo there is this gradient it's not gonna look as obvious on me because i did choose a darker shadow like this plum color but it's still going to give a really nice depth and then with a really tiny brush I'm just gonna smudge that and just blend it with that eyeshadow. This is so pretty. This is getting me excited for fall. And the leaves are already falling down. And it's only September. I do want to add more of like a darker brown to the base. So I am going to go in with that shadow. And just focus this right between the lashes. Just to add more depth. And I'm going back and forth using that plum color. Because I don't have that much real estate on my eyelids. So I can lose it pretty easily with all the blending. Let's sharpen this up with some concealer. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. You need so so little this is still one of my favorite drugstore concealers and it lasts so long okay but i wanna sharpen that cat eye so i'm gonna go in sharpen it up like that these two products have been my go-to m cosmetics terra contouring a little, a little to the nose and then summer for more of the bronzing you guys are probably sick of me using these two products but they are so good they are so blendable and just the tone is really good. It's not too cool. This one in Terra is just, it's perfect. Not too cool, not too warm. Very, very simple to use. Now going in with Summer, really focusing right there and there. So I'm saying this video now, hoping that this is coming out before my mascara video. But Tower 28 just came out with a new mascara. What is it called? Waves mascara? Something like that. It looks really interesting. And you guys know how I am with mascaras, especially clean mascaras. They tend to be mediocre, but this one looks really 
interesting like the shape of the wand looks really interesting so that video i'm trying to film and upload the day i get it and i should be getting it tomorrow so you guys should be seeing that video this week if you guys have tried that mascara let me know in the comments of that specific video because the marketing is so good i love tower 28's colors i'm a sucker for like a purple lavender color so so pretty going in with the powder i'm noticing again if you have monolids or hooded eyes this always happens we're gonna have some moving going on specifically with this lighter plum eyeshadow so i do have to set it and be a little quick about it and i think i've said it to you guys already it's been acting a bit dry around the mouth but now i'm noticing that's happening in other areas and you want to know why it's because i'm using a product with uh salicylic acid and it said that it would do that so i think i'm gonna have to back it up a bit and not wear it every single day it's just a moisturizer and then i also have a serum but i think pairing the two together that's too much for my skin so i think i'm just gonna go in and use one of the products not both of the products it's the naturium line it's a brand new uh acne line because i do break out every now and then if i could do something about it and prevent it as much as possible so i've been just kind of testing that line out all right so what i'm going to do is going back in with that powder i am going to add it to the lids just a little bit like a really light layer just so that shadow doesn't move and then of course the eyeshadow primer is going to help that as well the combination of the two i'm kind of just setting the eyeshadow primer for the lid and the inner corner should i go in with this color i'm just hoping it's not too opaque i think that's gonna work yeah that should work okay so i don't want to put too much i'm going to use a flat brush it's just a light wash and that's what i love about the shimmer shades is that you could do a light wash or you can go full on out i'm going to bring it up a little bit higher on my eyes just so you could see it more and then and there's some of the inner corner again because of my fold it's it's gonna look a little different and that's okay so you do what looks best for your eyes this is such a pretty look and so different than what i would wear and still not too dramatic so if you were to go to the supermarket to the library just out and about it doesn't look too strong like it's definitely different it's still eye-catching but it's not like whoa you know and then whatever's left on the brush i'm kind of just lightly diffusing this one has been my go-to brow gel by patrick ta this one is the lamination gel i really do like this stuff before i got into eyebrow pens i used to use pencils like this one this has been a holy grail for me but now i feel like the one from urban decay is my holy grail but i still do love this one it's by elf it's the ultra precise brow gel in neutral brown that shade is very important to me because it's not warm. And I haven't used it in a minute, so I thought, you know what? Let's take it out. I love the color. I love that it's not too pigmented, too waxy, and that it's affordable. Because I go through brow pencils pretty quickly. Even when I'm not wearing makeup, I still like to fill in my brows just a little bit. Even if it's just with some gel, it makes such a big difference. And I like how there's a spoolie on the other side. Mine is so gross. <laughs> you know what? Let me use a different spoolie. Much better. Now going in with mascara. So I tested this one out for you guys. It's the By Terry Mascara. But I didn't try it with a primer. So I'm going to do that first. Although it's only been, what, not even two weeks in September? I am thinking of a Halloween costume. I'm more into it now because I have two dogs and I do a lot of content on their platforms. If you didn't know, I have a dog TikTok. Well, I guess I do make short form content. I always forget that I'm the one creating content for my dogs. But yep, that's me for the most part. Sometimes my boyfriend will help me, but it is primarily me. Uh, yeah, if you're really into dogs, if you like watching doll content, definitely check out Boo the Sammy on Instagram and TikTok. I've been really enjoying that because I feel like I can partake in trends, especially ones that don't seem like they could really relate with beauty or fashion, but I can with the dog profile. 
It just makes a little more sense for me. I kind of want to do a video on mascara... Is it mascara hacks or just lash hacks? Ones that I've learned are TikTok. Some that work for me, some that I haven't. Maybe I'll do that in a video. There's this one hack that I'm not doing today that I do want to talk about because it has been very helpful. And one of you mentioned it in one of my older videos. And it made one of my mascaras that were just all right into, wow, this is really good. You know, this mascara is so much better with the primer. What a difference. I don't even think I want to wear any thick lashes. Usually if I'm going for a look like this, I would do that. This is a pretty good mascara, guys. But even better with the primer. Do you guys remember these blushes from Milani? I still have mine. This one is in Romantic Rose. It's a matte finish. I think it's just going to go nicely with the eyes, but I definitely need some color to the cheeks. I'm getting back into matte blushes and I'm pretty positive that we're going in this direction. So take out all your matte blushes that you have in your collection and we're getting into them. Although this one smells like crayons. Like it actually smells like crayons. Like a Crayola box, you know, like exactly like crayons. Did it always smell like crayons? I don't know. Or does that mean this is old. Wow, this isn't as pigmented as I thought, but you can see it, right? All right, we're just gonna be loading it up. I was trying to figure out my lip combination off camera. I didn't wanna bore you guys. So I did NYX Slide On Glide On and Beyond Nude on the outside, which is what you see that's darker. Then on the inside, I put in another NYX, but this is the retractable lip liner in Nude, in the center. And because my lips are looking dry, I am going to add a clear gloss. I blame the changing of the seasons, why my lips don't look that great. Lately, I've been on this kick where I only wear lip liner and gloss, that's it. Like, that's my combination. And then clear gloss, they were 5-1. One. Then one last thing to the look, I'm going to add some highlighter. This one is from Benefit. This one's really old. Maybe it's a little too old. We'll just try it. All right, it doesn't smell funky, so I guess it's still good. Do you remember loving this one? Because although it's a cream, it dries down as a powder and it's super pretty. I had the mini size. I think I got it in a gift set years ago. So then I was like, all right, I'm gonna get the larger size and now look at, I have so much of this product that I could have just gotten another mini one. And this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty chill tutorial, just kind of talking what's been going on. I don't know, kind of just saying whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this casual video. If you did like this video, subscribe to this channel for more and I will catch you guys in another one. Bye.